This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message error in chart to date. Character string is not in a standard unambiguous format in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So let's assume that we have a character string which contains a date in the format as you can see in line two of the code. And now let's assume that we want to convert this character string to the date class. Then we might try to apply the s.date function, as you can see in line two of the code, to this character string. However, if you run this line of code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the error message error in chart to date x character string is not in a standard unambiguous format is returned. And the reason for that is that the date is not formatted in the way that the s.date function expects. And for that reason, the s.date function doesn't know how to convert this character string. So there's one simple solution, which is to rewrite your date, as you can see in line four of the code. So the standard format that the s.date function takes is that you first specify the year, then a minus sign, then the month, then another minus sign, and then the day. So if you run line four of the code, you can see that the date is returned in a proper way, and this date is actually formatted as the date class. So this is a very simple solution. However, often it will not be possible to rewrite all of your dates, especially when you're dealing with a large data frame. However, for that reason, there's a very useful package available, which is called Anytime. And if we want to use the Anytime package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines six and seven. I have already installed the package. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line seven of the code. And now in the next step, we can apply the AnyDate function, which is provided by the Anytime package to our original character string. And then you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, our character string was automatically formatted to the proper date format. And the output of the AnyDate function is also a data object with the date class. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.